Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Empire TV Tycoon. It's a, it's actually kind of an interesting tycoon. I haven't played anything, well, okay, so honestly it plays kind of similarly to Game Dev Tycoon, but you're actually in direct competition with two other people, which actually raises this, it raises the stakes in actually, in like a really cool way. Of course, the two other people are AI, so they're mostly just kind of like, you know, faceless, faceless people, it's these two. Screw them. Anyway, so we're going to be playing as Lord Punchington IV from Punch Everything Incorporated. He's a cool, cool dude with shades. And we're going to be playing on normal difficulty. Okay, new game. So, I've played a little bit of this game before. And first and foremost, I will warn you guys, there is a cra there's an issue with crashing. Okay. Uh, so, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, complain about it too much. And it does have an autosave system, I think. I didn't test it out too much, but uh, I finished the first day and it froze on me which was annoying. Anyway, your objective is to become the most famous and watched TV channel within 30 days. The first channel that gets to 300 fame points wins the game. Fame points are awarded to the most watched channels every hour. If your money balance is negative for three days, you will lose two. Click in the elevator. Okay, so I'm going to be skipping past some of the tutorials just because it slows down the game pretty hard, and I've already been through them all. So when you go to the elevator, you can click on any floor you want to go to. You should always go to your computer and manage your stuff. There's also an advertising agency, technology area, and movie library that you can mess around with. Also a restaurant, but hopefully we'll never have to go there. Okay, so let's program my channel up a little bit. Okay, uh, in order to manage your channel, yeah. I'll show you guys. So we've got marketing, which increases the number of fans you have, uh, what movies you're showing, and what TV ads you're playing. So this is how you make money, this is how you, you know, appease these people. And this is how you even bring people in. So how do we do this? We got movies over here, and we have to we have to pair what movies we have with our audience in such a way that it will actually you know keep people interested. And so looking at these you know different fans here, we can kind of mix and match depending on what is what our audience like where our audience is. So we're gonna put the crossover in for the early morning because currently it's athletes. Go figure. Uh, so next up, we have a lot of women, children, and some geeks, but mostly women. I... We could throw in Twilight. I don't want to throw in Twilight, but that's mostly just because I don't like Twilight. I don't think we really, really have too much of a choice on that one. Uh... Because they're the most consistent, obvious uh, thing. Okay, yeah, we'll throw in Twilight. And so, next let's take a look at TV ads. So currently we've got Alabama Fried Chicken, uh, which appeals to everyone. Audience, 34. Reward, $52. And penalty, $41. So the audience is the base requirement uh, fi to like fulfill that block. And you have to get four, four blocks worth of 34,000 pe 34, people watching. Uh, and if you can do that, then you get the money. Uh, and if you can't, you get penalized, which is rough. So obviously, don't get too many ads. Um, we'll get into that later. But so currently, I've got two of them queued up. I, I am actually pretty confident that crossover is going to do well. So I'm actually going to throw Mentis Spice in there. It has a slightly higher audience requirement and only requires certain amounts of blocks. So I'd rather put those in blocks that I'm going to be confident here. You know, that it's going to do well. Okay, now we need to figure out what the heck we're going to do with... the remaining time blocks. Because unfortunately, I don't know what appeals to both geeks and women at the same time. My assumption would be maybe comedy. But you know what? I'm going to throw on Disclosure. It's a drama. I'll probably appeal to the women for the time being. And we'll figure out the geeks later. And I think the audience shuffles around on a day-to-day -day basis. We're not always just shoved into this. I hope. Okay, uh, so next up we want a documentary. America, imagine the world. I figure documentaries appeal mostly to uh, old people. Okay, so now let's do some TV ads. Let's do radio ads for prime time at the very least. And press advertising. So you get a limited number of marketing slots here. So if you notice, we've got press, 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 press. So let's do a radio ad for the morning block, just because. Um, but I'm going to use press advertisements mostly for the uh, the lower blocks. You know, when we have less people around. 
just because. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now let's throw TV ads on. Alabama Spice, Alabama Spice. We'll try a Menta Spice, and if it's not, if if this wasn't, if this one isn't going well, then we'll switch it out for the next block for Alabama Fried Wings. Okay, so we got that taken care of temporarily. Okay, should check my stats panel. So this is where I can see how things are doing, uh, and you can compare results and plan future decisions based on the audience statistics. Economy stats and the opinion of the audience for each channel will be here too. Everything changes in real time. Okay, so currently we do not have a show running, so there's there's nothing to do. So now let's let's go up and hire some workers. Currently we have two desks, so we can hire two people. Uh, I'm gonna skip past that. So we want to find a good script writer, Addison Lee. Uh, looks like she's the best. Of the best for the time being and she's not that expensive I mean she's three times as expensive or five times as expensive as everybody else but still we need a script writer if we're ever gonna want to make our own content okay next we can do marketing manager uh, lets you buy and use level one marketing ads uh, which seems like an okay idea community manager extra income every time you complete something uh, let's see audience analyst okay Why don't we do audience analyst for the beginning? We've already got script writers. I'm not going to bother with hackers. Yeah. And let's upgrade her her level right off the bat. And let's start her. Uh, what she what is she best at? She's good at drama. Honestly, she's a pretty good all rounder. Just don't have her right sports. Easy enough. Uh, sports or fantasy? What about sci fi? Let's have her write a, a game show. Sure, let's see how that goes. So that cost me money, of course. Now where are we going? Ah, down to go rent some movies. So renting movies is how you, you uh, get your content to show people on uh, every day. Okay, final episodes and last blocks of a movie generate big expectations among the audience. Good to know. So why don't we head over here? Uh, oh, hey, we seem to be doing quite well with our, our sports show. That's good. So this is where you buy and sell movies. You sell used movies and use the money to buy new ones. Each movie has a freshness rating. Okay, I can explain this. Oh, okay, so we've already got Age of Tomorrow. America Imagine the World. Hmm. So what do we not have? What do we, what do we actually need here? Don't know. Well, let's pick up Brother Bear. It's cheap and has a good rating. Uh, let's... Check based on money. If any of these on the lower side of things take up only one block and have a good rating, I'm going to buy them. So in this case, uh, Redhead from Wyoming and Last House on the left both have decent ratings and only take up one block, which is actually really useful. It lets me throw things around a little bit, and then it gets a little bit more expensive. So I'll probably come back to these later, but collecting a couple of one-block movies is a good idea. Uh, the first time I went through, I was having trouble with it. I guess I'll pick up Walker, Te Texas Ranger, too, just in case. Okay, so we got that taken care of. We should go up to the marketing agency. Oh, that's funny. He just said, I'm the one who knocks. So that's supposed to be a reference to, uh, let's go to the advertising agency. That's supposed to be uh, Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. Interesting. Okay, so you talk to this guy to get ads. Uh, let's see, TV ads are free. Best way to earn money, each TV ad has requirements that you must fulfill in order to get that. Be careful though, you can't get rid of them. Uh, so what do we got? We've got an ad. Two blocks left to complete, expires in two days. I'm actually going to grab Vera Greedy. It's targeted for older people, and that should be a really easy way for me to make some quick cash here. So let's head for this and chuck it in so the, the elderly can deal with it. Oh yeah, let's go down to the technology area. Then I'll go up and check it out. Okay. And yeah, we're currently averaging at 111 people. So the TV ad will succeed. We're definitely going to be uh, getting the bonus there. So if you have the money and the required fame, you can buy several upgrades for your channel. Uh, so. We're just going to buy all of these. It's a little bit costly, but buying the upgrades early is a good plan. It gives me more space to work, uh, work with. So, now we've got this taken care of. Let's go program our schedule. See if those people are going. Okay. 
So we wanna we wanna throw TV ads. Very greedy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna throw both of those there. Okay, so primetime movies. We need we need something that will appeal to lovers. We've already got Twilight showing here. We're not going to be doing the crossover. I mean, I can show the weakest link earlier. No, because this is a, a single lover's one only. So here's the question. We need we need to go find a single block romance movie if I can. I don't know how easy that's going to be, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, otherwise, we'll just treat that as a lost lost block and move on and try and appeal for the other guys. Okay. Uh, we've got identity. I mean, we could throw just like a game show on. Let's see the hottie and the naughty. So we've got graffiti bridge, doom sarcophagus. It's expensive. That's part of the reason why I don't want to. Oh, do I have? I don't have a lot of music ones. Graffiti bridge ain't a bad thing to pick up. I'm kind of going with my basic, my basic strategy of if it's cheap, I will, if it's cheap and has a good rating, I'll pick it up. Most of these aren't terribly cheap though, so I'm just going to keep waiting. Okay, so let's see how my audience reacts to the next show. We've got 113 people right now, so maybe we'll get, well, maybe we'll be okay. I don't know. Unfortunately, Twilight is not going to appeal to that dude. Oh well. Let's see how it goes. At least we get the the ad. Okay, we've dropped down to about 70 people. Eh, close enough. Okay, so we got a lot of... So I'm going to throw on Walker, Tex or Texas Ranger there. Then we're going to do the weakest link there. Yeah, so Twilight didn't appeal as much as I as I would like. Oh well, we'll figure it out. So what do we want to do? Weakest link? No. I bet if we throw Mentis Spice in with those with the men and Walker Texas Ranger. Men and Geeks should probably like Walker Walker Texas Ranger. I mean it's a martial arts action whatever movie. It should be fine. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Oh, hey, we can look at uh, tomorrow already. Though we can't see what audience we're going to be up against. Okay, that's fine. So why don't we do radio ads? Well, let's throw TV ads. Alabama fried wings. We'll finish that up. Looks like I got an email. Let's check that. Okay, work finished. Oh, the script's done. Let's see how that goes. So let's let's finish programming for a little while. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Uh, we pretty much have to wait an hour before we can do too much else. So let's run upstairs and manage things. We can even take a look at, at the script and see if it's good. Because if the script is good, we can actually get started on a movie. Uh, which would be kind of fun. Okay. It's a good quality script. So, two teams... Uh, what is this? Game show. Two teams formed by a zoo worker with his worker colleague and a dentist with his neighbor will compete oh i see two teams formed with a uh, by a zoo worker with his worker colleague and then a dentist and his neighbor will compete to win the prize the zoo worker will have to sing three songs without using the letter e while the dentist is asked to outrun a bear well covered in honey Ugh. the zoo worker got first place and won a million dollars while the dentist only obtained a chocolate bar's constellation um
Let's see. I don't, I'm gonna go with a really bad pun and call it Barely Escaped. Okay, so that was, that was a good game show. What else is she good at writing? Westerns? She's okay at things. Good at drama. I, I wish I could train her in a specific genre somehow. Well, let's write a new script. We'll have it be sci-fi. Oh, you can actually see what she's good at with these here. Well, maybe we'll have her write a western next. Okay. Now we got that taken care of. Let's go get a new worker. Now she's... What is she? An audience analyst. Okay. So community manager could be useful. Script writer. Now we've got that taken care of. Marketing manager. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So I don't see anything else here. Okay, marketing manager. And... Let's see. Produce highway billboards. 4% more viewers in this block. Now let's upgrade that worker level. If I can get her high level, uh, that could actually end up meaning like really big things for me. Uh, say if I could get it... So I have 20% more audience every every block. Even if I choose a sub uh, suboptimal... Uh, like, even if I choose a suboptimal... Uh, show, it'll still probably work out for me. Okay, so why don't we... We've got the script, right? Yes. Let's hire actors for it. So we've got a game show. So we need to find people. Three, one, five. Two. Shoot. Help. Uh, let's see. Reduce the fame with public relations. Okay, so the problem is most of the people here are bad. So we've got Danny de Penguin, but everybody else is bad game show person. So you know what? I'm just going to leave that for the time being. We'll make our own movie later or, you know, try for a different script depending on availability. Okay, now let's, let's go down to the office and take a look at things. Let's delete that email. No reason I should keep that around. Uh, let's go down to the office. Let's look at our statistics. I've been kind of ignoring them here. Oh, hey, we're actually leading. So, with sports, we're... We're competing with the uh, replacements from the Blue Channel. But, managed to bullhead, I got the crossover. Okay. And we are currently leading with Twilight, surprisingly enough. Uh, versus the replacements or date movie. Yeah. Okay. So, this is actually going well for me. Let's speed up the clock a little. So this is still Twilight. It's apparently doing okay with the geeks, too. Are we still being beat out? The answer is no. Okay. Let's see, work finished. Oh god, let's slow things down a little bit. Uh, let's see. So, Academy Awards representative. Let's see. These awards are a great way to earn recognition money. Let's see. Gotta complete something cool. So what does he want? Best drama production will be awarded tomorrow at uh, 11 o'clock. So we need to make a TV and movie. Okay. Well, let's keep that email just so I can refer back to it just in case. So now that I can see things a little bit, we need... We need a romance movie. Bad. Let's go grab one. and Or see if I can grab one. Luckily, it can be a two-block romance movie. And then I'll go back to managing things for a bit. Looks like uh, drama is working out with the nerds. That lady could do to be a little bit more interesting looking. Oh, uh... Interested look... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we could do a musical, which would probably do okay with the, um... It would probably actually do quite, quite well with the female audience. Yeah, seems like a reasonable movie to pick up. I'm being a little bit sexist here, but I'm just assuming that uh, women like musicals. Considering I'm engaged to a woman who really likes musicals. And also sci-fi things, so I guess she's a bit of an outlier in certain regards. Okay, so where is that musical? Oh, shoot, I already have one. Oh, well, uh, I wasn't paying attention. We'll get another one. So we got Walking on Sunshine. Yes. Okay, so we want to do marketing, radio ads, marketing, radio ads. Uh, we'll do press there. TV ads. So, <clears throat> how's Mentis Spice doing? 
Uh, we could probably put Menta Spice there and then finish that off. Okay. And then we've got some late night television that I'm not sure how I'm going to do that one. Anyway, we need to write a drama. I do wish that the uh, the elevators were faster. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of obnoxious waiting. Okay, uh, so this is a crap quality script, so I'm going to throw it away anyway. But let's see what, it, see what was written. An undertaker was the leader of a band of Cherokees until they ride against him. They let him... Heavily tied in the town main... Oh, they left him heavily tied in the town's main street to die, but the Undertaker's able to untie himself. At the town's main street, he finds a pony express worker who also holds a grudge against the band of Cherokees and who knows where they are. So the Undertaker and the pony express worker join forces. When they find the band of Cherokees at the Confederate fort, they're drunk. As a result, the Undertaker and the pony express worker start shooting without warning killing them. All justice is served. We're dismissing that script. It's garbage. So we're going to write a drama. I'm running a little bit low on money, but that's okay. Uh, let's go... Down to the red player office. And I don't have any ads. She's almost... Upgraded, so that'll actually give me some bonuses. I think. So I haven't gotten any... Any quests yet. I'll talk about quests shortly enough. Hmm. You know what? Why don't we do... Why don't we do marketing? Why don't we use a radio ad on that one? My last radio ad. Because I want to get the very greedy ad out of the way fast. And so if I can... If I can uh, manage to get that done, that'll give me some heavy money. And it looks like we've led in literally everything today. Good. That's really good. Okay, so let's crank up the time for a little while. Here we go. Optional quest. Empire citizens also have their problems, and they'll ask you for help. Everybody knows that a good movie solves many problems, but not any movie. Keep attention to their requirements. If you help them with the right movie, you earn a good amount of money, and your public recognition will increase too. Uh, the audience may have a different opinion, though, so be wary of that. Anyway, we're releasing a new range of products, and we need a decent drama movie tonight at uh, 10 o'clock for our testers. You will receive money for this, if you can do this for us. Well, let's go take a look. What do I currently have... Listed for 10 o'clock. Walker tested Texas Ranger. So, on one hand, I could make money. On the other hand, okay. Fame reward one. Genre drama minimum. So, it would make me a lot of cash, but it would cost me the, uh, it would cost me the first slot there. Probably. I mean... Do I care? Not really. I, I think I, I'm not going to take that quest. The money would be handy, especially early on, but I feel like getting the early fame is a good plan. Let's take the elevator up. Let's speed up time a little bit. A lot, really. Okay, to the workers. We want the script to be done. Oh, new mail incoming. No, never mind. That was earlier. Okay, so let's talk to her. Let's see. Grants knowledge of one additional audience group also increases the viewers in 1%. So we can do over the course of 12 hours for 10 bucks. Sure. Okay, getting a loan. You can go up to the restaurant and get a loan. If you need money, visit the top floor. But, uh, they, they'll need their money back after a little while. Okay, so we got a drama script. New drama by Lord Punchington IV. The old teen lo lover of an archaeologist dies when his helicopter explodes because of the flood. The archaeologist seeks for the professional assistance of a hairdresser to help him overcome his trauma. Some time passes when the archaeologist loses the hairdresser in the middle of a deadly epidemic, and they never see each other again. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna call this one... Um... Hairly made it. Save. I am, uh, I am great with my puns today. They are so freaking bad. Alright, let's go up to the studio. I have $66, but that's okay. 
Ooh, I might not actually get that uh, old person ad. Well, I'll get part of it anyway. Okay, let's hire actors. Hopefully, let's see. So we want to do Harley Made It. This is a drama movie, so hopefully most people have the required skills that we need. Three, three, five. So we can get Danny DePenguin and Danny DePenguin and Ewan Kenobi, I guess. So who do we want? Let's have Danny DePenguin, Ewan Kenobi. So it's going to cost me 10 bucks for this. I know it's not actually 10 bucks, so that's... That's rough, but we'll see how it goes. Let's start directing. So we want to do a TV show, TV movie, standard movie. Let's do a standard movie. Okay. Next, we want everything to be like three-ish, just because. Okay. So makeup and hairstyles seems like a very important thing. Uh, original score is pretty important. Reality doses is probably important. Uh, let's see. Costume design. Pretty important. So this is... Hairdresser Archaeologist. Um, hmm. We don't need much for post-production. Scenography. Yeah, scenography seems important. Okay, I think that's all I can do. Action. It'll take three hours, and that's all of my money. So we need those ads to come through, otherwise we're in trouble. Well, luckily I don't have anything to spend my money on after this. So assuming that we complete those ads, then we have nothing to worry about. And if we don't, I guess we could take a loan? I don't know. Or the game crashes in between days, and it doesn't matter at all. So let's, let's take a look at our statistics. How are things going? I mean, we're leading with the old person crowd. It's just... Oh, wait. Holy crap, we were leading in the old person crowd. Didn't realize it. Uh, oh, apparently the Western does well with old people, kids, and men. I will keep that in mind. So let's take a look. How's our ad performance doing? Did I fail any ads? I did fail the first Vera Greedy ad. Damn. Oh, I'm going to get the second one, so that's good at least. And we'll figure it out from there. I guess, you know what? I bet a Western movie... wouldn't be terrible yeah so why don't we do why don't we blow redhead from wyoming late night marketing and we'll try the vera greedy one again and then as the last thing it will be age of tomorrow We'll try Menta Spice. Okay, so I've got everything set up. We're dirt poor. Let's just let things run. Okay. So let's watch. Not great. Well, I mean, currently we're leading right now, so the weakest link is good. The amount of viewers, though, not so great. Ooh, Walker, Texas Ranger seems to be leading with the men and the nerds. So we got that going for us. I'm just going to watch these statistics as everything just rolls in for the night. Oh. Uh, production assistant. Strange mail has arrived asking a question. Cake or pie? Also, it says if you resend the mail uh, 20, uh, to 20 people, the movie that you're producing will be a hit. Would you like to resend the mail to 20 people? No. You should ask yourself if that mail affected the production. I mean, I hope not. All right, the movie's done. Let's go take a look at it and slow it down a little bit. We seem to be doing fairly well amongst most uh, audiences, so that's good at least. Oh, interesting. The The timer does not actually affect, like, the character moving around the environment. Well, how to do? 6.7. 6.2. 6.2. Okay, so it's a decent movie. But it's better than the ones I've been airing, so that might not be a bad, uh, bad deal anyway. So, uh, wasn't as bad as the Thunder Rise Riders. Not bad, but the next time you should split your resources a bit more. Ewan Kenobi got the job done. Danny DePenguin did nothing remarkable, but was okay. Great story. Cliche script. Okay. So let's go down to the Red Player. Op oh, here. Projection Assistant Resume. 
So cameo roles was good. Scenography was bad. Costume design was bad. Eroticism was okay. Makeup hairstyle was okay. Original score was okay. Post-production was good. Visual effects and sound editing were good. Okay, so we're kind of there. I think a better script would have made it better. So currently we're leading across the board for the entire day. The only time we fell down was the uh, night uh, was the seven o'clock segment. Apart from that, we have done nothing but uh, we have we have done no wrong as far as this TV station is concerned. Oh shoot, I didn't put an ad. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's just very greedy. You know what? Let's 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 see. Let's roll roll down to the advertising agency. Hey, I'm at $150. That's good. Let's see what I got. Do I have anything that specifically keys in for these people? Hmm. We could try that. Let's let's go for the easier to get ones for the time being. And also interesting enough, interesting enough, I can actually um add an ad. So like right now, since I'm leading with women, I can actually go in and add the ad since it hasn't even shown yet. Uh, now that I know that it, I'm going to have the proper audience numbers, which is good. Actually, really good. It's kind of a clever way of doing it. Okay, and I'll throw Panucci's Pizza down here. Okay, that should be good. Nope, we don't get any more press advertisements. So let's, let's go up to the... Um, next floor and see if I can produce a 8% booster from the marketing manager. Oh, you already have unused blocks from this item. I guess we might as well produce... Ooh, that's expensive. For only 4% more? Hmm. Well, let's spend the $10 upgrade her fully. Or at least more so. And back down to the office. We might as well watch the last of the numbers roll in. And then end the episode, because we've been doing this for about 30 minutes now. And we might as well see the end of it all. We do have a little bit of competition here, but apart from that, it's easy enough. Okay. Let's see. Um, I have... I, I, I hope I can hold my own. Yep, looks like we got the ad done, and we got the money, and looks like the sci-fi show is perfect. So yeah, we didn't fully lead at the 1 o'clock segment either, but... No big deal, honestly. And day two. So let's see if it crashes on me or not. No, it did not. Beautiful. Okay. So at this point, I could keep going, but we've been going for a little over half an hour. And I think this is a great place to stop and give my f first impressions of this game. Overall impressions. I don't know. Uh, I love this game. It's really good. It's got a lot of feedback. I mean, it could use a little bit more. But still, it's got a lot of, like, customization, it's got a lot of things to handle. There's really nothing, like, you can kind of set it and let it go, but it, it feels like the more you have your hands on it, the more you're going to get out of it. I really like that. Like, this is the kind of tycoon game you can really get your hands in. And, you know what, uh, it, it has enough random generation that playing it through multiple times isn't a bad idea. There are definitely a lot of different things you can do. Obviously, it's probably only going to be worth, like, two or three playthroughs. Maybe a little bit more. Really depends on, like, kind of how you do things. And who knows? Maybe there's even more in the game than I thought. I guess you could also kind of, like, compete for a high score and stuff. But uh, let's let's go over the basics of how is this game. So the visuals are uh, boring. The user interface design, I, I, it takes a little bit to get used to. But actually, it works very well. I like the little audience thing in the corner. I like the show thing. The music gets a little annoying just because it's it's inconsistent because it's, you know, music for each movie. <clears throat> and so, like, you know, the music will randomly switch around schizophrenically, especially if you're running at a higher speed. So there's a very likely possibility that after a certain point, I'm actually going to just turn off the music entirely and switch to my own just because. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's not bad. It, it fits the game perfectly. I'm just not interested in listening to it for that long. I guess that's the point. Let's see. So, apart from that, I mean, the visuals, pixelated, not terribly exciting, one way or another. Actually, if I do save and quit, does it quit me out of the game, or does it bring me back to the menu? There we go. Okay. So, at the very least, we can listen to some music in the background, even though I don't know about the loading screen. <clears throat> or the, 
the title screen music. Okay, but I mean, it's pixel art. It is what it is. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Uh, I, I guess really it's it's nondescript. It gets the job done. It's not it's not anything special. I, I do like the pixel art for the people on the couch and the TV shows though. Those are actually really good because each TV show, each movie, has a uh, has a like a little TV sh window preview looking thing. I think though it might actually just be specific to genre. I don't know. Either way, looks nice. So, baseline question: Is this game worth it? Well, if you like Game Dev Tycoon, if you like, uh, let's see, if you like Game Dev Tycoon, if you like pretty much most Tycoon games, this is totally going to be wor worth the money. Uh, it, especially, say, in comparison to Programmer Manager, which is the one I started last week and stopped yesterday, uh, because of just lack of things to do. This actually has the things that I want to do, and is a great quality game, and is done. So, you know, I can sink my teeth into it, and then uh, move on. So I highly recommend Empire TV, Tycoon, and it's ten bucks. Uh, I think it goes up to like twelve fifty. After this, what's the what's the full price? Thirteen dollars, yeah. But right now it's uh, nine seventy five. So I'd say it's a worthwhile price for what you get. And you know, there's no like weird issues for the most part. I did have an issue where it froze when transitioning days, but it seems to have an autosave system. That so that's not an issue. Anyway, apart from that. If you guys appreciated this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, I'm going to be continuing on to the next episode, the next day, and finishing this run. And with the way things seem to be going right now, I uh, have a very commanding lead and probably will win. Yay! So, yeah, hit subscribe if you want to see more Empire TV Tycoon or indie impressions videos overall, because I love indie games. I love covering them. So, with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of Empire TV Tycoon, and as always, thanks for watching.